Hi everyone! Welcome back to the Sun City Stitchers channel. I'm Carlene and I'm Marlene and this is floss tube number 51. If you are a first timer here, welcome to our channel. If you are returning, thank you so much. We're glad to have you. Um, we are coming to you again from the southwest corner of Missouri. Um, it was our mom's house. Uh, she lived right on Table Rock Lake and we are going to attempt to do this out on the deck this <laughs> afternoon but i don't know how it's going to go so no. we'll give it a whirl it's um, nice and warm a little bit humid so the weather has warmed up finally and um but it's very windy today so uh we might have a few challenges yes hopefully we won't be chasing we might, anything yeah, yeah exactly we might have to go running to chase something we tried to weight things down but who knows yes we'll <laughs> see how it goes um How's your week been? Well, it's been good. It was kind of, tutoring was kind of sporadic again, but it was my last day yesterday for tutoring for a while. I'm taking a little break for about 10 days. You hadn't taken any so, time off. I hadn't taken any time off since we went to Salt Lake in, in January, end of January, first week in February. So I was really, really ready for a break. Yes. So. Yes. Anyway, and my parents were so nice and so understanding. I told them, you know, I need to take a little break. Oh, my goodness, of course. They were so sweet about it. Oh, that's that. good. That's yeah, nice. So that, that makes it yeah, easier. Yeah, yeah so, so it made it easier. So. We celebrated yesterday afternoon yes. at Cinco de Mayo. We celebrated Cinco de Mayo. We went to a little restaurant called La Familia in Eureka Springs. Really Carlene good. and Mexican. Linda had margaritas. I just had a glass of wine. And then we got wonderful Mexican food. Very good. Usually it good. it's kind of hit or miss when mm -hmm. you're not in Texas. Right. Well, El Paso, El Paso specifically. especially. But um, but the, the food, food was very is, is very good at this little good. Mexican restaurant. Yes. So we had a very nice dinner. We did. And we, we came did. home and we made margaritas here yes. because Marlene has to have a, she can't, there's a certain ingredient that she cannot have. She's I'm in, allergic to it. In, in margaritas, margaritas. Yes. And it's something in the mixes that they get. And so we made our own here that she knows she can yes. have one. So she got to have a margarita when we got home too. So we had a nice evening and yes. cross-stitched. Um, I didn't have much happening. I've been talking to Charlie. Um, my kitties made a grand escape. They both got out of the yard this week. So Charlie texts me and he goes, both kitties escaped. I was like, oh, what happened? And he, and he said that he was sitting out in the backyard keeping an eye on Minnie and she hopped right over the wall so when he opened the gate to get her rounded up and put back in, Mickey took it upon himself to truck out of the yard. So he sent me a picture of Mickey laying on the sidewalk in the front of the house. <laughs> but he rounded them all up and got them back in where they were supposed to be. So the, and the turtles finally came out. So oh, yes. I've gotten pictures of the turtles. Oh, that's good. Yes. Are they all out now or just well, the big one? Well, he's only seen the big one. Oh, it was uh -huh. swimming in the pool. Oh. He, Charlie, my husband gets the, a frisbee oh. and puts water in it. He turns it upside down and puts water in it. And that becomes like their little spa bathtub drinking fountain. <laughs> so the turtle was taking a bath in the oh, water the one morning when he sent me a picture. So that was kind of cute. <laughs> and then that's we good. have a trip coming up. Yes. Tomorrow. We're going to be going to tomorrow. to Hot Springs, Hot Springs, Arkansas. <laughs> um, and and I have been there with my husband. Marlene and Linda have not been there. Yes, so I'm very excited. Yes, we have typical touristy things planned. Yes. We're yes. going to be staying at um, a timeshare. Uh huh. Our that sister's timeshare mm -hmm. right on Lake Hamilton. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll share more about our trip next week. Um, but I think at that, anything else? Anything else for this week? Think so, we've, huh? we've done a little bit of cleaning. We did get the inventory done of Mother's Dishes. Mm -hmm. We'll have to share a few pieces. Yeah. Um, next week. Next maybe. week. And. Um, and and then and then Marlene, you you have a treasure that you yes. found. Linda had it. Yes, Linda I had another box. little box. So Marlene has oh, her little like stitchy box. box. It's so pretty. Yes, it's very so, pretty. Show the inside. Very old and vintagey. It has pink it velvet. The button. You push the button. The not, not the button. Fancy. 
So this is the inside. It has pink velvet inside, and I have some little things already stuck in there. This is her pin cushion and her and her little um, what are they called? Marking pins. Yes, marking pins. My needle little. threader, scissors. Mm -hmm. So yes. a little needle book tucked down in the bottom. Some floss rings. Mm -hmm. So it's really cute. It worked yes. out really nice. Yes, it did. It's really so, pretty. Mm -hmm. So yay! Happy. Now we both have one. Yes. And then I did some more um, finishing. So we have some fully finished things that yes. all happen to be Marlene's. Let me show this one first. This yes. is my November pin roll. November pin roll. They're a little... Well, it's okay, but it was not quite quite the way it was supposed to be. So, so that was the Faithworks mm -hmm. Design November pin roll. And then she finished my ABC. The first ABC. Now this now one. she's going to add some buttons. Right. Some I want to add buttons. some little covered buttons. And they're going to be, show the back. They're going to match the backing fabric. Yeah, that'll look pretty. Um, I think so. And then I might put a little bit of that petite um, rickrack mm -hmm. around. But I'm not positive about that yet. And then let me just show because this is a set of nine, some of them are going to be finished like this, and then some of them I want to put this extra piece of fabric over here and put side. the buttons mm -hmm. down the side. Yeah, that would be And cute. then some of them I'm going to just do square without any extra fabric mm -hmm. on the front side. So that way when she puts them in her little basket or dough bowl, they'll be different mm -hmm. sizes. It'll add some interest. I think so. Mm -hmm. And then this is my candy cane kisses. This is another fake Faithworks design. This was Little House. Little House Needleworks. The, the ABC pillows were Little yes. House. And then this one is Faithworks. Faithworks and it still needs the ruching, ruching. around the edges. Mm -hmm. um, so I have to do that yet. So it's not quite squished right yet. I'll even doubt I have to keep working that down. Anyway, they turned out pretty yes. good. Yes. So that Very is cute. that one. I'm very happy to have them done. And then maybe there were supposed to be bows on that. Maybe bows on these two. I don't know. I'll have to look at the yeah. picture when I get home. So okay. And then we're on to finishing. Yes. So yay, I finally had a finish. Finished. Spring has sprung by Plum Street. The Plum Street sampler first. spring has sprung. Mm -hmm. That and was so you stitched fun. it on. Um glacier. Icelandic, Icelandic blue, 30, um, 32 count, uh, one strand of floss over two fabric threads. And it was the call it for. It all called for floss, mostly classic color work, so a couple of weeks and a couple of um, anchor. And we're going to do this just as like a little flat fold with some uh, rickrack around as yes. a trim around it. So let's, oh, sorry. <laughs> um, so yeah, it turned out really nice, yes, Marlene. It it's really pretty. Really pretty. Really, really pretty. It was really fun. Yes. Do not fold it. No. I Just um, decide to put it lay it on the table and set something on it. I set I've gotten box. it pressed. It's like do not fold it and crease it. So set my box on it. Okay, and then so now we are on to our sal progress. So to start with, Marlene, oh good, you have yours. Yes, I have my picture in. So where did my piece go? So oh, you have I have piece. it. I've already put it on, so you can show yours. There's a sting like a bee from Heartstring Samplery. And this is her progress. And we're, I'm doing yeah. it on vintage country mocha. 40, 40 count. count. Uh, one strand of floss, all DMC thread. One strand over two fabric threads. Oh, it is so pretty. I love that yes, bee. Sir. Look at the detail in that mm -hmm. bee. It turned out really pretty. It's very pretty. Marlene. And I'm doing, um, and I'm so excited because I get to work on the flowers today. I'm very excited. And I am working on mine. I had a little issue because, of course, I made a mistake. But I got it fixed. So, oh, that's so pretty. You look at that butterfly. This is float like a butterfly. This was the plum do you street. Have that picture? Oh, I do. You can show that. So this was the plum street design in the collaboration. 
And I am also doing mine on the vintage country mocha, but on the non-modeled side with it's 40 count, one strand of floss over two. And you're threads. using DMC. Again. And using the DMC called for DMC colors. So, so pretty. Uh huh. I started the words yesterday, so Ooh. it is coming along. That's really pretty. But a little bit slowly because I made that mistake. Yes. All right. And then, um, oh, I worked on some homework, a couple of homework projects to finish up. So if you want to show this, yes. I'll okay. get my piece ready. Chatelaine Poison Garden. And um, she's using it on mm. 32 count graceful gray. Okay. And um, with a mix of threads. Some fancy floss, mm -hmm. some anchor, sure. some um, treasure braid. And um, she's doing two strands over two fabric threads. And so for homework, I put in all of these flowers. They were long stitches and back stitching and then I started this over here on this side this trim oh right here yes just right those here. stitches that is where the trellis is going to go on the other side oh, wow. so those purple flowers are just beautiful they are and really now pretty. there's a small garden that goes here in this corner oh uh -huh, in here. between that uh-huh Ooh, so I, can I worked wait on to that. Get to that part. I need to pull mine out and work on it so I can get past this part. Yes. And then I also worked on changing seasons. This is the fox and rabbit design from last year. And we're doing that on um, um, the one we did. Sand? Sand. Yes, light sand. Light sand, light 32 sand. count light mm -hmm. sand. Mm -hmm. Just a minute, I'm getting it on here. And so she's it. using mostly anchor. And thread. some Trinway silk mm -hmm. and some Gloriana silk. So, oh, that's I worked on pretty. this flower and the vine. This is the spring swag that comes up here. That's so, very um, this is the Gloriana silk. Glor no, uh, Trinway silk. Oh, that's very And pretty. then this was just an anchor floss. Very pretty. So there's a matching flower over here on this side that I'll do. So yeah, it's that was, it's very fun. It's very, very fun. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that was homework. And then on Monday, we started Stitch Mania. So Marlene, yes. what did you stitch? Okay. So my first one, I don't want to set this down. No, nope, because it's going to blow. I'll set it here and then My first my one that I worked on, on was um, another of the Little House Needleworks ABC oh, Sampler Pillows. And um, this was the LMN part of the alphabet. So I only did a hundred stitches, so all I got done was just the roof. Oh, I should have put up. Oh, it's the white line underneath, so it goes like this. Yes, yes, there we go. That's right. Okay, so, so just the roof yes. and the row of Some stitching of the under the roof. Yes. So, okay. So that was my first one on Monday. And see how they... The finishing on this one, they just attach the little buttons right on top of the pillow. Yes. But I, that's why I wanted to have more of a fabric. And I know mm -hmm. it makes the pillow just a slightly bit taller, but I, I like that cute. better. Yeah, I, do too. I, I don't want the buttons to detract from the stitch design. No. Mm -mm. So I like no, that. No, honeybee. Oh dear, she's wanting to come out. Okay, so that goes. Um, my first one that I worked on was a Faithworks design. And this one. And it was Hello Spring. No, it was. Was. Okay. Maybe we can get it on. Well, I'm going to just. So this was Hello, Hello Spring. Spring. This was our weekend getaway project from last year. I'm going to have to go close the big door. And so yes, because she's pawing on the yeah. screen door. And then this is what I have done. It's stitched with mostly anchor floss, but this was a week's dye work um, called Celebration. 
And so it's a very nicely over dyed thread for spring. So I have um, more work. This is going to become my morning stitch as soon as I finish float like a butterfly. I'm going to work on float until it's done and then switch over to hello spring. Oh, yes. That would be good. Yes. So that was mine. What did you work on okay. next? Then on Tuesday, I worked on a Just Nan project. Um, the little oopsies or something she called them. This one was Spring Frills. This is so beautiful. And I worked on the little um, pansies. pansies. And she does not know what this purple fabric is. No, it, it is was from my stash. Beautiful. Oh, and which reminds me, I forgot to post my picture from yesterday. So pretty. So, and I'm using um, anchor fluffs for it. Very, very pretty. Then I worked on my Rosanna Dissery for stitching March Madness. Do you want to shut that one on? Yes, this and was our February lady. So, and I'm just mm -hmm. getting the words put in down at the bottom. I finished that first row of over one down underneath the swag, right oh, down uh -huh. here. Her right name along. and here. Uh huh. Her mm -hmm. name and age. Mm -hmm. So I got that done. Very pretty. Yes. Okay, and then, and then on up. Wednesday, I think this is the one I worked on on Wednesday. I couldn't really remember. Um. I worked on Pumpkin Farm. This is part of the Anniversaries of the Heart. A blackbird design. Blackbird design. Uh -huh. And we think oh. this is called Summer Beige, 32 count. Yes. And Marlene worked on the border, right? Yes, uh -huh. the border of Pumpkin Farm. Oh, and it does have the white pumpkin. Remember, I was asking you about yes. it? Yes, and I couldn't remember. So. So she put the started the border uh -huh. here on this one. Yeah. I had I had the the viney thing done. I just added the little the green flowers. colors. I mean the the, the fall orange. colors. Yeah, the, the fall colors. Flowers. The flowers. It's really pretty. Mm -hmm. The colors are really pretty in that. So, all right. so let me just show the. I know we're gonna get a little bit of a of a glare through there, but let me just show you her piece that she has so far. This is such a monster. It is. Really. Oh, and here then, you forgot your... No, I, I'm using it for some oh, of our smaller okay. pieces to um, cut the glare through the fabric. And then I started uh, my big toe. I had a new start in the middle of the week, and that was this one. Um, it is well with my soul. And I am doing it on 40 count antique white, two threads of floss, no, one strand of floss over, over two, two fabric threads with Weeks dye work. I am using the called for grays and greens, but there were two blues and I switched them to purples mm -hmm. because that was mother's favorite color. Yes, so I did that too. That is this my one of little her start. One of her, her favorite, favorite hymns. hymns. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that was my new start for this week. Okay, then in um, on Thursday, I worked on From Sea to Shining Sea. I worked on the border down here and put on some of the leaves. Oh, you just got stuck on the bottom? Yes, on the okay, bottom. Okay, let me make sure mm -hmm. I show that. So, and this one I'm doing one strand over two threads using the classic color work. Classic colors. And they were the called for, They right? were the called for, yes. Mm -hmm. So you worked on those leaves on the yes. bottom? Yes, uh -huh, right here. Yeah, right there. Okay. So. And we're just doing a hundred stitches. Yes. So. And we've been so crazy trying to get yes. everything done that we have gotten a hundred stitches in. Yes, I worked on, um, another one I worked on was my fourth day of Christmas, The Sampler by Hello from Liz Matthews. We are stitching this on 40 count French lace. 
um, with ones and with um, NPI M NPI silks with one strand. So one. I got this bird all finished out oh, here on the so bottom. Pretty. I really, really love pretty. these birds. I have one more bird now to add down here and then just finish the border. <coughs> um, I think there might be a couple of leaves down at the uh -huh. very bottom too. Mm -hmm. And and that one more really bird pretty. and uh, I have to get this all filled in. So it's coming along. That's really pretty. Yeah, I love this. I love yes. this pattern. I think the design is just beautiful. Mm -hmm. So they're all really very pretty. Yes. Okay, then yesterday for Stitch Mania, I worked on Strawberry Fields Farm. This was the one last week you said farm. you were excited to work yes. on. Yes, and I just worked on the tree. I had the branch put in up here, and I just worked on the rest of the of the tree trunk and, and you the don't other know branches. this color of fabric, do you? No, it's. I think you had. I think you had it in your stash. It's a. It's a kind of a green, a uh -huh. pale green, but yeah. it's really it pretty for really strawberry. Pretty. Yeah. yeah, it's almost the color color. that it calls for. It looks very close to what they used, used. here. Uh huh. And maybe a that's little brighter. Used it. But yeah, but it's so pretty. It's very pretty. So, so you you yeah. finished the tree. Yes. So now I you're ready to start tree. putting uh -huh. leaves on. Yes, I'm ready to start putting the leaves on. I got to work on Timeless Tudor, uh, FaithWorks design from the Just Cross Stitch magazine last year. And this one right here. I started down in the corner on the grass. Oh, and yeah. so I got this done. The flowers are multicolored, but we used uh, Weeks Dye Works um, celebration celebration mm -hmm. and over that over dive really right. just it has purples and yellows and, and pinks and blues uh -huh. it's just beautiful and it's perfect because it looks just like a flower mm -hmm. bed so I got that much done last night when I worked on it I did I don't I 120 really stitches I think so yes this is another one that every time I get it out it's like oh it's so I fun know. I want to keep working on it that's how I feel too it's going to go on my five for five oops, oops. there went my soda all okay. right so that was stitch mania for this past week yes then we both worked mm. on our bluebirds of happiness for five for five we had a couple of days left in April yes so oh, no. this is what we worked on. So Marlene, do you want to show what you have? Yes. This is what I have done. Oh, that glare is not too bad. I got um, this little, I had the bird done, but I had to finish this little um, twig and flower and everything. And then I did this little viney thing right here. That's all I got done. <laughs> And she is stitch, stitching hers on petal. On petal. Picture 40, this plus petal. 40, no, 32 count. 32, 32 count. count petal. Two strands over. One strand um, over two petals. Right. One strand of fluff. And I am That's stitching so mine on the Atomic Freeze. Yeah. I am going to just put mine I'm, down here on the I'm board. Working, I'm going to work on mine today. I'm going to work on mine today also because... This is my stitch mate. This will be the five for five. This will be my five for five. Oh, since that's so today. pretty. So mine's on the Atomic Branch Freeze 40 count. One strand of floss over two fabric threads with all the called four did floss. We, Marlene's the, using the called four floss. Yes, I showed it first. So I worked on finishing this and going up here because when I stitched up here before, I did not have the darker shade um, see where I've added it in here so I still need to add it in here and then I'm ready to start on those last motifs down here this one I'm hoping to have done in this five by five rotation I, um, but I forgot to pick out anything for stitch mania to try. I didn't either <laughs> there'll just be a surprise next week <laughs> yes whatever we work on will yes. be a surprise Okay, and then we both started our Mirabilia's. Yes. So I'm doing Let frog, me have your project and I'll get her. Princess. Ella the what? Frog Princess. You don't. Such a cute little story that goes with this. 
So anyway, and so I started right in the center of, I'm working right here on her dress. I'm actually up here to her arm. So I'm, I just barely started. I got a little bit of her hand put she in She looks last night. so nice on this gray fabric. Look how mm -hmm. her dress just really stands out. It does, it does. It's really pretty. Very, very pretty. So, okay, anyway, I really like her. And I started my Mirabilia for my May Lady. Lady of the Mist. Mist. Mm -hmm. And I'm, did you say what you were oh, doing her on? Um, Persian gray. gray, we found out from Nancy. Persian Gray, and I'm using all Anchor Floss. And it's and, 30 count. No, I'm 30 using, count. Yeah, Anchor Floss. Yes, 30 count fabric. And I'm doing two strands over two strands. And I am using Stormy Sky. Yes. Stormy Sky, I believe. Stormy Sky, so um, 32 count. And this is what I have done. You have a lot of her dress done. Yes. Her arms now go on each side. And I've started on the kind of the neckline of her dress. Oh, yeah, the, the blue. The light blue. blue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's really pretty. So that's that one. That's so our first pretty. ever Mirabilia. I'm loving it. It's very yes. addicting. Yes, it is. Now this one's going to get put away for a little while, mm -hmm. but we're going to come back to it again um, at the end of the month yes. and work on our Mirabilias. So that was our five for five. And then we had some Paul. Oh. Because on Tuesday, we forgot to mention that. Oh, yes. On Tuesday, we went to Branson so mm -hmm. that I could get the missing fabrics yes. for my missing floss. Missing floss for my Mirabilia. Um, since I ran off and forgot the pattern the last time we went. Yes. So um, we went into Branson to Cecilia Samplers. And we found a few things. Yes. Did you get any new patterns? Um, and the only new pattern I got it was when you also got. Um, where is oh it? yes, oh, welcome yes. home. Yes, welcome. We home. both got welcome home by stitching with the housewives. We've already got the basket, and she they're going to do one for each season. And so this is the summer design. Um, and we had not picked it up yet, so we found it at the shop. Yes. And so we both got it. Um, I am going to do mine on a chalkboard black. That's our neighbor's dog, yes. Isabella. And she likes to bark. So she's, she's, welcome, to the too. she's welcoming you to our floss too. So I'm going to do mine on a 32 count um, Lugana chalkboard. Um, Marlene is going to do hers on a darker fabric. Yeah. Um, we're not sure which one yet. I think I might try. I I might just try it on um, the 14 count or maybe 28 count chalkboard black. Oh, you could maybe give it a try because it's a know. dark gray. It's yeah. not. It might look pretty on I one know, of that's our. That's what um, Kimberly on, does all her stuff on that, but she does it on 14 count. And then so I, I also know. got I'm America deciding. the Beautiful. Um, I dug through all their patterns and I found this one. And so I got that. And then uh, Marlene is going to get God Bless America, the new one the that new they one. just mm -hmm. released. And then today they just released their floss tube and the bees. Yes. The, oh, the theme is bees and they're mm -hmm. so cute. I love it. Yes. So and cute. then I picked up um the plum street sampler this is the day so i have four now that are all they all are like names with a line from a song uh -huh. this is the day this joyous season um this happy morn, this happy morn and and this i, this know. I know and i want to do them all and cluster them but i'm not sure i want to do them on a small count so they're not overly big right. and then make a grouping with them. That would I just, be really pretty. I love this. I might have to do I that love too. those designs. And then I got this one. I saw this one. Um, this was released by Heartstring Samplery at um, Market. And it's called Sunday Stitches. And they're all uh, lines from songs and uh, hymns, hymns. And they were specifically designed so that you could do a grouping because they have all different sizes. They were done on all different fabrics. And I just love this 
and they had almost all of them done at Cecilia Samplers, and they were mo models, and they had them hanging, and it looked so pretty. I didn't see them. Yeah, it was well, it was right there by where the floss racks oh, um, were uh, uh -huh. on the wall in back of where she has the classic colors and the week sky oh, works okay. hanging on that okay. wall. So anyway, yes, they're very it's pretty. a beautiful book. Uh huh. It is um, really pretty. Just really pretty, and all the designs are in they're here. So, so I loved it, and I mm -hmm. thought, you know, because even if you wanted to stitch a small and as a gift or something, there's yeah. a bunch of small patterns in here that would stitch fast. I just wanted the collection. I think it's uh -huh. beautiful. It so really that pretty. was Heartstring Sampleries, and it was a new release at market with all of these designs in the book. So I thought it was very nice. Uh -huh. That is really pretty. Yes. A very really, nice really stuff. Pretty. All right. And then um, we did buy some fabric. So shall we shall we um, show that? Okay. Should we show this one? Yes. First? Okay. Okay. So we now, got this one. Marlene has just decided that we're going to have a new start in Hot Springs. I don't know if we will, but I think we should. I think we should. So this is what fabric? Um, oh, where's my package? Where did my package go? Um, this is... Oh, show um, how pretty it is. Yes, this is how it comes when you get it at Cecilia Samplers. So we picked this little out, sticker. And it says and the size of the cut mm -hmm. and the, 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 the fabric designer and the fabric and then what project you're going to use it for. So... It has, uh, this is Be Stitch Me from, this fabric is from Be Stitch Me. It's morning fog, and we're going to use it for Honey Bee Garden. So it's really And pretty. they serge it for you. Yes. So she cut the size we needed. She surged it, put it in that pretty little package. Mm -hmm. It is just gorgeous. Uh -huh. And so that's going to be look, for this one. put a cute little thank you button on the back. So cute. I know. So nice. Very nice. And then what floss goes on here? Oh, and then this is the floss. So I think this is going to be a really um, nice fabric for this project. The denim that they that they called for was out of stock, and Marlene and I were excited to stitch it. So we wanted to start it either May or June. Okay, yeah, just hold them. Just you can just hold them all. There they are. So those are the flosses, the called for flosses, classic color flosses. Mm -hmm. For Honey Bee Garden. And this was are. what count? 28 count. 28 count. 28 count. So it's going to be the same size as what Priscilla and Chelsea did. Okay, and then we also got fabric for this Blooming is your fabric. Tiny Town. Mine yes, is still in the package. Because yes. I tore my pretty little package open so yes. Marlene wouldn't have to. Because I'm a nice and sister. And then we got. Blooming mm -hmm. Tiny Town. Tiny and tiny we're town. doing that on the Vintage Country mocha. mocha, so that's not anything that and you all do not we did know. did it on 32 count, right? 30. Okay. Yes, that's yeah, what the pattern called count. for, uh -huh. 32 count. And then count. we got all the threads for it. So it's going to be these threads. That's the called for classic colors on the Vintage Country Mocha, which I think is close. Yeah. It called for... Old Stationery by Seraphim, and they did not have that, and so we went with the Vintage Country Mocha, mm -hmm. and I think that's going to be look really, really pretty, pretty. Mm -hmm. on that. So we got that. I don't know where this came from. And then um, we did a Kitchen Chemistry. My nose is already so hot. Oh. <laughs> we did Kitchen Chemistry this week. And, yes. and we need you all that have dyed fabric before to tell us. Ours seems a little extra grungy. So did we, like, leave it in the coffee tea dye too long? Or is our, did we use too much coffee? Is that what you think? Let me hold some white fabric up in back of it so that we don't get that glare. So or is that what it's supposed to look like? Anyway, this was done because we had never done this before. We got those packages of fabric from Hobby Lobby. So they were not expensive fabric. And then we tried it. And this was, um, this piece started out um, kind of a pearl gray. It was uh -huh. ice. Mm -hmm. um, it's, and then we, and then we, then we tea dyed, no, we, no, we rit, rit dyed, dyed it with, with denim, denim blue. blue. 
and then dunked it in, in the coffee the coffee tea coffee tea and, and then so, we baked it and then we baked it and then this one started out white and we did so this was a different color fabric it was 28 count writ dyed denim blue and then coffee tea dyed so there's a lot of modeling mm. and coffee so we need input <laughs> and then we tried to um just coffee tea dyed so this was the one that started out kind of the pearl gray and that is the coffee tea dye. And now the other question we have, you all, do we iron this before we stitch I'm on sure it? I'm sure we do. Marlene says yes, we should iron it before we stitch on it. So we should iron and get the wrinkles out and then stitch on it? I think so. Tell us, we don't know. We I are newbies we at ke kitchen chemistry. Tea and then and this dyeing. one was the white. The white fabric. They're very pretty. I like the modeling. I'm just not sure if it's supposed to be that dark. I mean, I'm going to use it. It's dark. I'm going to use it. So if each side looks a little different, so you really could choose. I thought these fabrics really took the dye yeah, nicely. Yeah, they did. Uh -huh. um, and I the denim blue was a very pretty color. Uh, I know we we followed the directions that Priscilla and Chelsea uh -huh. did on stitching with the housewives. They were very specific, uh -huh. very simple, very easy to um, follow, very, very easy good. to follow. And and they said, you know, that it would darken in the oven. We kind of felt like it probably because the fabric da dried uh -huh. and the color was actually a little lighter. But that, yeah. of course, is going to be different with every uh -huh. type of fabric. Uh -huh. So with this particular fabric that was, I mean, you know, not expensive fabric from Hobby Lobby. Um, it, it, I thought it, because when it dried, it was lighter than what uh -huh. it appeared when it was wet. Yeah. Which that would yeah. be normal. Mm -hmm. So, um anyway so we need your input on that about whether about was the the darkness of the coffee was it because we left it in too dunking long. too long or was it because we had too much coffee tea in the mixture or did we bake it too or long it's not it right. burnt it's it's not burnt it's the coffee that's <laughs> in there so Sorry. anyway um bless you the wind is the Wind is making both of us be very yes. stuffy and and then want to sleep. And there's a lot of pollen in the air. I saw and now, on the weather channel Marlene that it was and I have be high. one more question we're going to ask for suggestions. Um, we, of, of course, being twins, we have yes. a birthday coming up in June, both of us, because we're twins. Um, <laughs> on the same day. On the, imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> so... Um, we want a new start for our birthday. It's a big birthday. It's a new decade for yes, us. Yes, it is. <laughs> we don't know if we should be happy or not. <laughs> um, but we are. We yes. are happy and grateful yes. that we get to have decades of new decades of birthdays. So um, we, we need to have ideas for, for what we should start as a yes. new start for our birthday start. Um, we don't want anything overly large because we have a lot of big projects. But Already, we would like yes. something. Yes. We would like some new start. Not really tiny, small. I mean, I want it to take a little longer than an afternoon yeah. to stitch. Yeah. But I wouldn't mind if it was smaller. So anyway, if you have suggestions or ideas, a pattern that you like to stitch, something you've seen that you think would be good as a birthday start, let us know. Yes. Um, yes. We would let love us to in know. The comments. And then we're going to... Um, Take your suggestions and we'll put them on a little um, survey. Thing. Yes, a survey yes. so that you all can so vote. That you guys can vote. And once you'll we help us once we have, and we probably will add a few suggestions yes. too. So yes. we have we'll have a list of a few projects, and you all can vote on what we should start for our birthday start. Yes. Um, so that's not till June. So you have time to think about it and give yes. us some suggestions. But we yes. would love to know what you think yes. would be a good start. Yes. Um, this week, what's coming up for stitching, Marlene? Uh, more Stitch Mania projects, which I forgot to even look to see what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm stitching for I have for no Stitch idea. Mania. I forgot to check my planner. I know today I'm supposed to do um, Hello Autumn. 
Oh, so I'm uh-huh. gonna work on that. I, I got to work on yours. Hello is Adam. Bluebird my mine, of happiness. Mine is Bluebirds of Happiness. And uh-huh. then that's what you're starting for your five for five. Yes. And so, that's what I'm mm-hmm. gonna work on for my five for five too. I, yes. I'm hoping that in this five day rotation in the month of May, I will be able to get Bluebirds of Happiness done. Uh-huh. And then when I work on Rosanna Disri again, that I will be able to get her finished. Um, so I, I may have two finishes. Um, so that's what's coming up for five for five. Um, I think that's it. I think that's it. Uh-huh, I think so. We had a lot today. Yes, we did. Okay. No happy mail, though. No, no Because we're not home. I do have happy mail waiting for me at home, though. Yes, we do. We both do. Yes, because we got our next stitching season, the summer chart. But yes. it's waiting for us it's in El Paso. It's waiting in El Paso. So, so when we get back, we'll do an unboxing yes. Yes. to show you all what we got. Yes. So we're very excited to see that. Yes. Um, we won't be going home until it'll be a week from. Oh, that's a boat on yes. the lake. Yes. A very powerful boat. Yes. <laughs> oh, fun. Summer's coming. I know. Summer's coming. It's so fun finally being able to sit outside. And yes. It's been too cold for us. So Linda now outside, we but. are going to finish up this floss tube and then we are going to have a margarita because we didn't drink them no, all last night. No. We made a pitcher and there's still some left. So we're going to have chips and salsa and a margarita before we have dinner. Um, and on that happy note, yes. we hope that you all have a wonderful weekend. Um, we know this is coming a little late, but um, thank you for joining us. Uh, if you have not subscribed, please consider doing that. Oh, they're going back the other yeah. direction now. Uh-huh. It's a boat full of people. They're out having fun on the lakes. Because um, it is a beautiful it is. day. It, it is, is a, a beautiful little breezy, day. But I guess not too breezy for the boats. If you would like to join our Facebook group, we'd love to have you. There are three questions for you to answer, and you need to agree to the rules. So um, just then, of course, it's, still, it's not too late for you to join our Sal. Float, float or, or sting. sting. Hashtag float or sting. You can join anytime. We would love to have you and there's, watch your progress. There's no, um, please post pictures. If you're in our Facebook group and you're stitching this, post pictures. We'd like to see where you're at. We'd love to celebrate your progress, even if it's tiny progress. Yes. Every stitch is celebration time. Yes. Um, so, have a wonderful rest of the weekend. Remember that a day without laughter is like a day without sunshine. So wherever you are, bring your own sunshine and keep on stitching. We'll see you next week. Bye.